In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add columns into a spreadsheet. So here we have a very basic sales spreadsheet for demonstration purposes. So the first way to add a column, let's say we want a column between column B and column C. So you can highlight any empty column. So let's highlight column F. So you can click it and hold and then drag it into the spreadsheet where you want the empty column to be. As you can see, this is a blank column and any formulas are not carried on. So you will need to drag the columns at the bottom to carry on the totals for this blank column. So this could actually split up your spreadsheet. So it's not the actual best way of adding a column within a spreadsheet. So let's take that column out by holding down Command and Z. So let's say you want to add a column again between January and February, but you want the formulas to carry on. So you can highlight column B and you can right click, or you can press this little down arrow here on the column which will bring up the same window and you want to add a column either before or after. So before would be here and after would be here. So as we want it between January and February, we want it after. So as you may have noticed already, when you add a column this way, the formula below is actually carried on. So now if we start adding numbers into this new column. As you can see below, the formula is carried on and it will all start to be totaled. So that's the best way to add a column if you want the formula to carry on. So let's quickly get rid of all that by pressing Command and Z. So let's say all these empty columns was full and this was full of data, just for an example. So how do we add a column to the end here to add more data into our spreadsheet? So you can right click on G, or press the little down arrow and select either add a column before or after. So let's add one after. And as you can see, a new column is added. So let's Command and Z to get rid of that column. So another way of adding a column into the spreadsheet is by pressing this little button here and this will automatically add a new column to the end of the spreadsheet. And you can keep doing this depending on how many columns you want. Let's quickly get rid of them with Control and Z again. Another way is by highlighting all these cells. You can highlight all the cells by holding down Shift and clicking them. And right click again or press the little down arrow to bring up the menu and select Add Columns Before or After again. So add them after again. As you can see, this time, you have made three extra columns and you can do this multiple times and that's a quicker way of adding columns. So that is how to add columns into your Apple Numbers spreadsheet. It's an ongoing series helping you level up your Apple Numbers spreadsheets. And if you want more videos like this, then check out this playlist here.